Welcome to your distance learning tip with Ms. Arnowski. The video that you're about to watch was actually filmed pre-distance learning, so we need to make a few modifications. First, the video that you're about to watch used charcoal pencil, but today you're just gonna use the mighty, mighty regular pencil. Um, just like a number two pencil works fine. You also need a piece of paper to make your own boxes. So for example, if you're making value boxes, right, you can just make your own value scale by um, drawing up some boxes. I would say at least eight boxes, 10 would be ideal. Don't make them too big or it's going to take a really long time. Also, if you have one, you need a cute tip. All right, those are my distance learning tips for today. I hope that helps you. All right, welcome everyone to our practice value scales. Today, we're going to look at a value scale. So meaning it goes from light to dark or dark to light. Value means the lightness or darkness of something, not necessarily the color, but how much light or how much shadow is on an object. We're gonna to try to recreate our value scales in our boxes and I have two down here so that if we practice once and we need a more practice, we can practice twice. Let's get started. You are going to get a charcoal pencil today and a Q-tip. Charcoal is really just burnt wood. Nowadays, they really manufacture it uh, in factories and it's nice and clean. But in the olden days in cave people times, they would use charcoal like this. See, it's very black to draw on cave walls. But right now we have a nice pencil of it. Your Q-tip is going to be for blending and making really light values. First, we're gonna start with our darkest box, which is really the easiest to do. It just requires some time. I'm gonna go and really fill in inside my lines, just as if I was coloring with a pencil. I can outline, and then I wanna fill it in all the way. You want to make sure you're staying inside the box, coloring back and forth. You might need to hold your paper because charcoal has a different feel to it. And you want to hold it still. You're coloring in one direction. Then I'm going to get some of these white spots on the top. Now the thing about charcoal, when you are coloring this dark and you are filling it in, you're gonna have some almost chalk-like residue left over. We wanna make sure we don't blow it, right? If it falls on the rest of your paper, that's okay. We can get a tissue um, or a paper towel. However, do not blow it or else it might get in someone's eyes or nose. Right, so that is the darkest value. That was really easy because we really just colored as dark as we could. I overlapped it so that I had a lot of layers. My next one, I'm gonna color a little lighter. So I might not press as hard with my pencil, but I do wanna fill in my whole box. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to fill in dark. I'm still pressing pretty hard. However, I'm not going to layer my charcoal on top of it on top of each other like I just did. I'm just gonna do one layer, I color it in, and even on the computer, you can see the difference. You wanna to start to get lighter around the middle. So I'm gonna keep doing it and trying to match my box. So this was my zero box, I tried to match. This is my one box, I tried to match it. Now I'm gonna look at my two box and try to match it. So I'm pressing even lighter with my charcoal. Filling it in inside the lines. As you can see, this is a very careful process. You need to be looking at two places at once, right? So now I've matched my two with my two box. I actually think it could even go a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go color a little bit more. Now I'm looking at my three box. This is start to get a little bit lighter. So I need to actually press pretty lightly with my colored, my pencil now. If 
I'm almost pressing as soft as a feather. You would be surprised how lightly I'm pressing for the amount of charcoal that's coming off. Okay, so I'm really pressing lightly, not coloring very hard in order to match my three box. Now, my next one, I am gonna press like so softly that I'm almost not even touching the paper and you're still gonna see how much color we are getting or how much of a medium value. So I'm starting to transition into my middle values and that's as far as I can really go with my pencil. That is when we start to pick up our Q-tip and blend. So I'm gonna take my, my Q-tip and start to blend my box so that it's nice and smooth. Blend this box so it's nice and smooth. I'm doing really one at a time. one at a time. So am I taking my Q-tip and going all the way across the whole thing? No, I'm just doing a one little section at a time. Now what you're, you're gonna find is now that there's charcoal on your Q-tip, you can almost use this like your pencil to add some charcoal to your rest of your boxes. I'm gonna add a little bit on this one, pressing so lightly a little bit on this one, pressing even lighter. And for my next view, I'm gonna even switch it over again to the other side, just get a little bit of charcoal on my Q-tip. It is so, so tiny and bring it in to my next boxes. So I might need a little bit more. Really, really light. So you can see that this is a process that takes some time, right? First, you're gonna start with your dark. It's going to become a medium value. And finally, your last box should be completely white. There should be no charcoal. So that's a value scale showing all the way from a very, very dark shadow to what are called mid-tones as in medium value, and then very, very light value, where which would be a lot of light shining on an object. If you need, there's a second practice box down here in case we make a mistake on the first one or need some extra practice. Good luck today and get started.